Dad, I don't want to go live in New Orleans. Please come with me. I have to go to China. It will only be a while. And you'll be under your good hands with a good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Call her your aunt because the school won't let you go. Ugh, don't remind me of school. You'll have Aurelia. I'm older than her. You'll be fine, only for a while. A while too long. What you are, Lisette. Say it. I hold your hand, the eternal invisible. Say it. And you live in a cemetery. Say it. You're a fairy. I'm a ghost, Rebecca. A ghost. I I so said ghost. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna go. curse has been put on the Bowman's household. It has said that once a Bowman girl has seen this ghost, she must die. No Bowman daughter has ever lived to see their 17th birthday. And eventually they have found out that this was not a coincidence. When the seventh girl dies, the curse dies with her. Have you ever seen that ghost, Rebecca? This is the house in which I died. I remember my mama making me go here. Help a close family member. I had yellow fever when it hit. I told my mama I died of yellow fever, but she knew it was wrong. I would recommend this book to anybody that likes action, ghosts, mysteries especially. Um, it's one of those books that I got really sucked into and you know, it's really one of my favorite books by far. Um, so if you want to learn more about Lisette, her curse, um, you know, the cemetery, all the background and stuff, read the book. I definitely recommend it to you. I would give this a full hand of stars. Get it? Five? Yeah? No? Okay. Also, before I go, a special thanks to Victoria Bard for being in my video. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> okay, bye.